soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine. If you don't know, today is a very, very important day, the anniversary of a very, very important day. Uh, a day that the significance of which really cannot be overstated. June 6th, 1944, the Allied invasion of Normandy, France. And it was a lot more than just America's entry into the European theater of World War II. A lot of people think it was America's overall entry into World War II, but it's not. We were actually fighting in places like North Africa before D-Day. Uh, but it was a lot more than just the Allied invasion of France. It was a lot more than just uh, the start of liberating millions of people from absolute horror at the hands of Nazi Germany. And as important as that was, uh, it was really more than all of that. It was a day that set us up for the life we have now. It was a day that was going to change the course of human history forever. Uh, and it really did. And it set us up here in the United States for the 21st century and is still affecting us today. I mean, we have the life that we have today because of the sacrifices made by those men on June 6th, 1944. I'm sure you've seen the scenes in movies or video games. This is the day where the landing craft rolled up onto the beach where my grandfather landed on Omaha and the loading ramps went down and the troops ran out uh, into gunfire, into what I can only imagine must have been the most horrible scene that anybody could ever think of. We here in the United States, as well as the entire world, and that's not an exaggeration, the world as we know it would not exist without the sacrifice that these men made. We owe them a debt of gratitude we can never repay. But what we can do is pledge to never forget and to honor them. And unfortunately, World War II veterans are disappearing quickly. Uh, you can do the quick math. If D-Day was 75 years ago, you'd have to be, you'd have to join pretty young. My grandpa, for example, lied about his age and right after his 17th birthday, uh, joined, joined up. And uh, you know, he passed away last year at the age of 92. Um, so they are disappearing quickly. You're always gonna have a few that live to be you know, 100, 105, 110, but those are the exceptions to the rule. Um, so they are quickly disappearing and a lot of the younger generation doesn't have a living relative that served in World War II like, like I did, like my grandpa. Uh, most kids today, you know, younger than me, probably don't because they're already unfortunately gone. Read a book, read some articles, watch a movie even, play a video game, one of the old Medal of Honor video games and just think about what that must have been like in real life. Uh, one of the best series I've ever watched. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of good movies, a lot of good ones. Uh, but one of the best series ever, oddly enough, doesn't have a beach scene in it, but the Band of Brothers HBO series is awesome. Uh, so learn about World War II if you don't know about it. If you don't know a lot, it's very interesting. And uh, I think it's really, I don't think it's really important. It, it is extremely important. Uh, so on this day, I just wanted to make a little speech about it and hope you guys Learn something new, maybe, and I hope you enjoy this upload. Well, howdy, good morning, and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I hope you're ready for a crazy vlog because we have a 50 caliber machine gun in the garage. Yes, a 50 caliber machine gun, a Browning M2HB to be exact. And today's upload is brought to you by KnivesDeal.com, run by my buddy Vin. He's a great dude. Check him out. Check out the website. You can get a tactical survival knife, a little pocket knife, maybe a machete, whatever you need. They got it. Use promo code STREETSPEED717, all one word for 10% off. They even have airsoft guns. And pretty much anything fun and like weapon-ish related, they got it. That is what brings me to this bad boy right here. So we do, in fact, once again, if I didn't say it enough, we have a 50 caliber machine gun in the garage. Pay no attention to the fact that it says 762 on the box. It is in fact 50 cal, a Browning M2HB. If you ever wondered how you load one, just follow my simple steps and you can do yours at home easily. It'll be an absolute breeze. And you're ready to fire. All right, now for the good stuff. You are ready to rock and roll. What you're gonna do is use this, not a pull trigger like a normal rifle and uh, right now the gun is condition one. I'm not gonna bore you with all the technical terms and the whole process, but the gun after racking it twice is condition one 
ready to fire. And if it was a functioning firearm at the moment, you'd actually see the little metal piece off the bullet belt there get ejected out the side and you would know that you were uh, in fact ready. It's got iron sights, although for a 50 cal you don't really need it. Uh, you just kind of look at the bullets and see where they're going down range and you can adjust if need be. But yeah, it's a little bit different than a regular gun because you do have to do it twice, which is kind of uh, interesting. Yeah, it's a little bit quirky and a little bit different than a normal firearm that a lot of people are used to, but it's very, very cool and effective. It's the anniversary of D-Day after all. It's a perfect fit. I wonder if Rich is home. I have here a picture of my grandpa on uh, the deck of a Navy warship there with a, you can see a deck gun and his hat that he wore actually on D-Day as well as the pin and uh, his official records and everything like that. And you know, people always ask you that hypothetical if your house was burning down and for whatever reason, you could only grab one item and besides, you know, family members and everything and pets, uh, what is the one item you would grab? This would be it. Still got that uh, ignition key alarm noise thing going on, but this should be pretty easy to mount the 50 cal back here. We'll just fold down the seat and it should sit right in. I don't think I'll have to like bolt it in. It's pretty heavy and I'm not gonna be like driving all over the place with it. So, or maybe I will, but I feel like that might be illegal. Whoa. All right, and step two, and I think I'm gonna get like one of the tires I have in the garage and put it on there so it doesn't move around at all. But it's pretty heavy and pretty stable, but just in case, like, cause it's gonna be really top heavy. So step two though is done. And step three. All right, good to go. Maiden voyage time. And uh, my lawyer told me I should say, uh, don't try this at home with your 50 cal and misuse of a 50 cal can result in serious injury or even death. Blazer right up every time. Doing well after it's uh, swim, still a little bit dirty. Uh, some water in here, I think I need a drain hole like up front, but doing well. Squeaking a bit, but that's fine. Okay, well, so far I have to say it's going really well. Uh, the gun seems stable. I do have it uh, bungee corded so that it can't like swing all the way around so it's not like swinging out traffic but it seems very stable, doesn't move around a whole lot, looks fantastic, and uh, it's already gotten a couple looks on the road, I'm not gonna lie, but it's going really, really well so far. The whole family at that softball game was just like, as I drove by. Now luckily, like I don't live in, for example, California, okay? So like, guns in Pennsylvania, it's somewhat normal. Like we have, a, like most people in PA like guns. If I lived in California, I feel like I'd make it about 10 feet before I had the FBI on me. I am driving quite carefully here. I'm not taking any corners real fast. I'm trying to go pretty slow. Take it easy. I don't want a 50 caliber machine gun rolling down the street. Nobody wants that. What do you it think, buddy? What do you think? Yeah, it is a technical, oh isn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I love, dude, I've been, I've been driving around what? like this. Like, what? <laughs> I come down, like, I just see you turn the corner, you see this 50 cal, like. Dude, get up there and check it out, man. Oh it's all God. legit and everything, dude. God, deuce. It's all legit. Yes. <laughs> Holy <laughs> you got rounds in here. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, what do you think? I was going to go empty. Well, I mean, nothing but the best here. That's Jesus right. Jesus Christ, dude, this thing's amazing. <laughs> this is real? It was real at one point. It's important to point out, though, it's not functional in any way at this time in its life. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, well, it's a little weird, like, back here by, like, the, the butterfly trigger. There's, this, I don't know if that's a safety or what, but it's, it's a little bit different. It's cool they have the wood on the back. Yeah, they got the wood grips. Everything's real, like, top cover, the way it feeds. It's just so funny how the 50 cal over the course of, like, what is it, 100 years, 75 years? It hasn't changed like Looks exactly all. the it's, same. It's completely the same. Same design and everything. The military still uses it. Well, it's effective. This is nuts, dude. It's in the back of the <laughs> So I got it weighted down with my steel wheels here. Uh, it's taking the trip really well. Now, I don't know if this thing was ever designed to be like mobile, so I'm keeping an was, eye on everything, but. I, yeah, I was like, I wonder how he's gonna do this. Yeah, this it's, insane. I mean, it's going pretty well. It's I all balancing, yeah. Well, yeah, I drove around the neighborhood first and what happened was every corner I went around, it like swung, it was doing full, <laughs> yeah, it was doing full 360. So I was like, okay, we got to control our barrel here. So that's done, which is good, but. Yeah, this yeah. is good. Very good. Yep. I'm hyped. Oh my God. I'm like speechless. I can't believe this is a thing. I am kind of hungry. You're hungry? You want to go to McDonald's? All right. Lots of children here at the McDonald's, so I don't know if that's good or bad to be There's honest. There's so many kids. <laughs> yeah. 
Hi, can I get uh, five McChickens and three large fries and a large Coke? Can you? Nope, that's it. Uh, five, five McChickens, yep. Yeah. Chickens are definitely my go-to. I usually get about four or five of them and then a few large fries to enjoy with the McChickens. Um, and it's like, you can get a lot of food. They're cheap, they're only a buck. So like if you were gonna get a meal, it ends up being cheaper and you get more food if you just buy a bunch of McDoubles and McChickens. Thank you very much. You too. Hello. Good. How are you doing? Very nice. We thought we were gonna have the cops calling on us way before this. Yeah. I thought we were in trouble. I mean, I've been out now for about 15 minutes and. What are you saying, No calls. Well, no, I don't know. I haven't really. Nobody's really said anything, but I was just kind of worried. I was like, somebody's probably gonna call the cops. Yeah, I'll read out. We do it. That's good. The McDonald's is on board with the 50 cal. I Thank like God. it. Thank God. Alright, so we're rolling out. Alright, on the main road. There we go. They're, they were not amused at all. Oh my God. Yeah, this is uh... <laughs> he says it's some type of war vehicle. Yeah, yeah. This is like Mad Max. They used this in Desert Storm. Oh yeah. Well, you know that. Yeah, replica M2s and uh... uh the whole, this whole blazer was in Desert Storm. The, no, a whole kayak there's, some, there's some middle-aged people that like drive next to us. Gotta love the people that don't even notice at all. Yeah, well, like, that's is... kind of alarming. Oh my god, it's like how just the army up to their antics. You could, you could just have guys driving down the street with 50 caliber machine guns and know like these people wouldn't even notice. Oh my god. I think it's just like uh, ignorance is bliss. It's not my it's not my problem. Yeah, you so know we'll just ignore that. Like you know what? That's not our problem. Yeah. You can just legally drive down the road. That was a state cop. We just passed fully the state automatic. Cop. And I'm not wearing my seatbelt. So that's the most the of my state worries. State cop has been passed. We're good. That's the most of my worries right now is the uh, no seatbelt. I just I can't believe we just passed a state cop and he didn't even so much as bat an eyelash over there. I was watching. Hello. He's awesome. Thank you. He's all this seat. This is what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, he understands. I said, like, he, he was probably in the war. Oh, yeah. Like, probably Vietnam, honestly. Yeah, hopefully I get this video out today. It'd be great to have this out for the 75th anniversary of D-Day. Mm -hmm. This guy here looks like a potential gun enthusiast. Uh, yeah. No. Two, two looks. No more looks. I might lose all power steering here shortly. That's which is all right. We're just carrying the gun back. Need it. See, now we fit right in. Mission Barbecue, I feel like, is yeah, the perfect we, we place. We fit right in. That's the Mission Barbecue Mobile Command Unit. She didn't even look. She just stepped out in the middle of the road. <laughs> just Not smile. All at Chipotle eating right now. There's three cops. Three cops. Let's go eat. I should go. I should really park it right there. That'd be hilarious. He put on his lights, and I was like, "Well, this is it." And then he just went that direction. I went for a call. So this was totally ignored by the police. I wish I would have recorded that. <laughs> so in other words, there was a cop behind us. <laughs> and then he. And then he left. Like what? What? I, I don't know, dude. This is unreal. What the? I, there must have been something insane that happened. I definitely need to get gas. How you doing? Son, it's the same people from before, I think. I can't believe they bring Asian people to an American Chinese restaurant. Well, like, and you know, they just on it. I don't even like, yeah, it's horrible by American Chinese food standards. Well, that's about all I got for you, and I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, definitely something a little bit different, um, but it was hilarious. I'm sure it's one of those things where. It's a lot more funny doing it than it's gonna turn out on camera, but uh, nonetheless, I hope you got some laughs, and this was awesome. I think the Blazer really looks good with the 50 cal on it. In fact, I think it's gonna look pretty naked without it from now on. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, take care, and have a great night.